Today, I'll show you how to make a PowerPoint photo slideshow. I have these pictures from a vacation in Paris, and I want to include them in a PowerPoint photo slideshow. The first step is to go to the PowerPoint shortcut, or search for it and open the app. Once opened, go to Blank Presentation and click on it. A window with a new PowerPoint presentation will open. Go to the top menu of the app and click on Insert. A new menu will open. You need to choose Photo Album, then select New Photo Album. A new window will open. Now, you need to add the images for your slideshow. Click on File by Disk, then browse for the folder where you have the images. You can add individual images, or you can add all of them at once. Let's select the first image, then use the Shift key to select all of them. Once selected, click on Insert. On the right side, you can see a preview of the images inserted into the PowerPoint slideshow. You can check one image and see the available editing options. You can rotate the images if you wish. Furthermore, you can turn the images black and white directly from PowerPoint. You have multiple layout options for the slideshow and images. Depending on your needs, you can insert one or more pictures per slide. The frame shape is another setting to choose from. On the right side, you can always preview how the slideshow will look. I'll use a rectangle shape for my slideshow. The default PowerPoint photo slideshow background is black, but you can change the layout. Go to the Theme field and browse for a new theme. On the right side, you can preview the theme's design. If you like a theme, click on Select to apply it. For this tutorial, I'll choose the default theme. To do this, click on Create. That's it! The photo slideshow is now created. The next step is to customize it. You can set up the timing between slides and add effects between them. To do this, go to the menu at the top and click on Transitions. You can choose from multiple effects. Click on the arrow on the right side of the Effects menu to uncover even more options. By default, slides change on a mouse click. Let's change this to Automatic. In the Transitions menu, go to the top right side and uncheck the On Mouse Click checkbox. Below that, activate the After checkbox. Next to it, you'll find a timer that represents the time between slide changes in seconds. You can set different timings for each slide if needed. Once the setup is finished, let's save everything. Go to the top left corner of PowerPoint and click on File. Then, go to the Save As button and browse for the location where you want to save the file. You can export the presentation in multiple file types. Sometimes, it's best to export the slideshow in a format compatible with any computer, even if PowerPoint is not installed. For this guide, we'll export the file in a format compatible with a video player. Choose .mp4, then click on Save. Below, you'll see a graphical representation of the export process. The time required depends on the slideshow length. Let's check the exported PowerPoint slideshow in MP4 format. I saved the file on the desktop. I want to play it in an infinite loop, so I'll choose the default media player to run the file. As you can see, everything runs smoothly, and the slideshow works properly. If you want to play it in an infinite loop, Go to the Repeat button and activate it. You can now play the photo slideshow automatically without any manual intervention. Now, let's see how to save the file in an editable PowerPoint format. Go to the File menu, then click on Save As. Choose the location where you want to save the file, then click on Save. The PowerPoint photo slideshow is now exported to the chosen location. If you want to play it automatically, go to the bottom of the slide and click on the Slideshow button. That's it. You successfully created your first PowerPoint photo slideshow.
If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tricks. Thank you.